Hi, my name is Professor Bob, and today I'm going to teach you about density. Yoo-hoo, I said density! Oh. Okay, so where were we? Now that you know what density is, you need to know how to find the density of a substance. Density refers to how closely packed the materials of an object are. The closer the particles are, the denser it is. For instance, liquid water consists of molecules spread wide apart compared to a much denser material such as solid gold. Now that you know what density is, you need to know how to find the density of a substance. You can determine the density of matter by using the following equation. Density equals mass divided by volume. To find the mass, use a device to measure mass, such as a triple beam balance. Never find the weight of the object because mass and weight are two different things. Mass is the quantity of matter within an object. Weight is the measurement of the pull of gravity on an object. The difference is that weight is affected by gravity and mass isn't. For example, on Earth I weigh about 4 grams. However, if I were to go to the moon, I would weigh 0.664 grams. Now, let's say my mass on Earth is 2.4. Back on the Moon, my mass would still be 2.4. The volume of an object can be determined by how much water it displaces. You can use the following procedure to determine the amount of water an object displaces. First, Pour some water in an empty container and measure the water level. Second, immerse the object whose volume you wish to determine in the water. Third, measure the new water level. The difference between the second water level and the first water level is the volume of the object. Now, let's see some density in action. A simple density experiment requires just a glass of water and some cooking oil. In this experiment, we will be using olive oil. Water has a density of about one gram per cubic centimeter, while olive oil has a density of about 0.8 grams per centimeter. According to the theory, the olive oil should float. Let's see if our hypothesis is correct. As you can see, Olive oil is floating on top it is less dense than water. Okay, boys and girls, that wraps up today's lesson. Here's tonight's homework. When you go home... <laughs> when you go home, take a good look around you. If you live in a very crowded area, it's a good chance that you live in... Dense city.